It's time to shut down R. Kelly for good. The singer has been hounded by sexual abuse allegations for decades. Haven't heard them over the hit sounds of Ignition and I Believe I Can Fly. I believe I can fly. I believe I can. Well, here's the TLDR. He's been tried and acquitted on child porn charges, but he married singer Aaliyah when she was 15 years old. The marriage certificate falsified her age. Tiffany Hawkins sued him, claiming he pressured her into group sex when she was 15 with other girls. They settled out of court. Tracy Sampson sued him, claiming underage sex. They settled out of court. Patrice Jones sued him, claiming he impregnated her when she was underage. They settled out of court. Then Montina Woods sued him. After tapes of her having sex with him appeared in a compilation sold by bootleggers, they settled out of court. Now, Jim DeRogatis of BuzzFeed reports that Kelly is keeping at least half a dozen women in conditions their families describe as an abusive cult. They claim Kelly controls virtually every aspect of the women's lives. Kelly's lawyer denies the allegations. The women say they are fine. But Kelly has now settled with more than a dozen others, according to BuzzFeed. And yet the hits keep coming, and we keep buying them. There were the two tours with Jay-Z, the 2012 collaboration with Kanye West, and the 2013 song with Lady Gaga. He was on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon seven months ago. All right, Kelly, look for his new album, Love Letter. Why have we allowed this Pied Piper of R&B to lull us to sleep with his songs. If even a fraction of the allegations against Kelly are true, his continued success hinges on the invisibility of black women and girls in America. As long as black women are seen to be a caste not worthy of care and protection, his actions will not receive widespread outcry. What if Tiffany, Tracy, Patrice, Montina, and all the other unnamed girls like them were white? What if Kelly's seizure of black girls' bodies received just a fraction of the public revulsion that Kanye West got when he grabs Taylor Swift's mic? We're in the age of Black Lives Matter. We should know better than this. The saga of Robert Kelly says more about America than it does about him. But this black woman has had enough. <laughs>